Sadio Mane, um, you know, he's gone to I think forty-one million going to um, to Bayern Munich. It, it's a done deal. Uh, we'll never see his likes again in England because he really was a sensational player, wasn't he? He really like his record was absolutely amazing. I did. I think the departure was a very. It, it felt like there was something else going on in the background when you have like pre the champions league final there's like oh we'll hear about his future afterwards and then it's like he's leaving it's a it's a very it felt like a very strange end to his time not only in liverpool but in england now obviously the figure speaks for itself it's a huge amount but it felt anticlimactic maybe um you see a lot of like the liverpool greats and teammates and everything like that will be obviously making the grand tribute gestures which i know are banned in uh manchester United when players leave but I think it's just it does feel anticlimactic and maybe maybe it's because of how Liverpool's season ended I don't I would view a season like they had this year as highly successful for a normal club but when you're losing two finals obviously it has that effect or well not two finals but you're losing a final and two, two yeah two, two, a title yeah. race in a final yeah two titles exactly but it was just it, it Maybe it's just me. I, I think it does feel anticlimactic, and I think we're not seeing as much about him as perhaps if they'd gone out in a, if he'd gone out in a high this year, we'd be seeing like people out getting money tattooed on themselves, kind of thing, and it'd still be this huge loss. I think it felt like maybe if the decision, if the season had gone a different way, would he be leaving? Maybe, maybe not. It's in, it'd be interesting to see what they do with the money. And I think thus far. We're not really seeing much happening in terms of even transfer rumors seem to be quite limited and i'm like the only person who's talking about transfers really is gary neville talking about the fact that he's extremely concerned that man united aren't even in the rumors which is poor gary god bless him i worry about <laughs> gary at this time of year especially over the last few years but it's just <laughs> interesting to see what happens no it's true it's true and I, again i i you know i i, I have I've, I've criticized myself i've criticized teams <laughs> Liverpool, you know, uh, for for better for worse, I mean, they got this guy from the Red Bull factory, uh, and he really did well in in Austria. But the Austrian leagues, the Austrian league, he came up to Southampton, which is basically a reserve team, and he really did well and then fell through. Um, terrific Sanglis player. I I think that this could be the end of Liverpool as we know them. I don't think Liverpool are going to be. Top three next year. Maybe I'm wrong, Isol. I really hope not. I hope you're right because <laughs> I have space in I have space in there for Tottenham uh City and A another who isn't Liverpool, and I'm comfortable to let whoever that A another is come on in, join the party. <laughs> I think it'll be Spurs. I think Spurs are going to be in the top three next year, and I think it's going to be Arsenal, maybe Manchester United, but I can't see Man United do, but I do think Liverpool are going to drop back. Arsenal will surprise us. Arsenal will surprise us. I think that they're. I, know, they're but I prefer players. if they didn't. <laughs> well, okay, as a Spurs fan, okay, I'll accept that. Um, I don't have to the... worry about Chelsea. None of this is working out well for me. <laughs>